Hi babies, it's Bria Maysond. If you're seeing this for the first time, please hit the subscribe button. Please give this video a like and leave a nice comment for me, please. We're just going to be doing some nails today. I want to show you how I achieved this nice yellow set with a nice smiley on the one finger as deco. Let's get into it. So firstly, you want to start off by sanitizing the client's hands. Very important. And then what I did just now was just to push back her cuticles as far and as safely back as possible. Please do not hurt yourself or the client when pushing back the cuticles. And then I'm just gently going over her natural nail plate with my e-file. You can use a natural hand file, but I just prefer using the e-file just to remove um, any oils or any um, dirt on the nail and just to sort of create some uh, roughness to the nail plate so that when we place down our tip, it can stick down very, very nicely. Then after removing the dust particles as thoroughly as you can with your duster, you then just want to go ahead and try to see which tips fit the size of the natural nails and then just lay them down, lay them out horizontally. And then afterwards you can start applying your tips onto the nail. Then to stick down the tip onto the natural nail, I use the glue from Planet Nails. I'm using the one that comes in the form of like a dropper. This one works much quicker for me than to have to use the glue that comes with the brush applicator. Then now we're just cutting down the sizes of the tips to the client's desired length. 
I use this stainless steel nail cutter from Planet Nails. You can use a ordinary nail cutter that we usually, you know the one we grew up using in, at home. That one's fine too, but I like this one because I can just cut in one go as opposed to the nail, the, no, the normal nail cutter where I have to cut on the other side and then again on the other side and then have I have to do some twist shandies to sort of get that piece of the tip off that I wanted to cut off. Then what we're doing now is just using an ordinary set of scissors to cut out the shape that we want to achieve. So the shape we're going for is stiletto. So I'm cutting on the sides of each nail tip. Now to perfect the shape that we want to achieve, you're going to take your hand file. I've seen people do it with the e-file as well, but I'm not that comfortable with it yet. So I just still use the hand file where I'm just going to perfect out that shape, filing down the sides of each nail tip. So what I'm doing now is using my e-file to blend the tip into the natural nail by just lightly going over the tip with your filer. You can, once again, you can use a natural a hand file. It will work the same, but uh, I just enjoy using the e-file.
what I did there was just to shape uh, that middle finger a little bit more. It didn't look perfect for me. And then you can finally remove the dust particles as thoroughly as possible. Then the next thing you want to do is use your nail prep to dehydrate the nail plate. Just to remove any natural oils on the nail so that um, your nails will last longer. And then after nail prep, you are going to apply primer. Primer is very important as well because it creates sort of an addition to um, the nail. If I can explain primer, it's like a double-sided sticky tape, if you've seen it, and how it works. It'll stick onto one side and then also onto the other side of the object that has to attach to this first object so in this case it's going to attach itself to the natural nail and then it will also attach itself to the acrylic that you're going to apply over the natural nail What I did there is that I was running out of that yellow color so I just added a bit of clear powder and then mixed it together so that I can have more of um, the powder. The clear doesn't affect the, the actual the pigmentation of the specific colored powder but if you add white it will definitely make that specific color powder lighter but clear does absolutely nothing to it it just makes it more. So now we're going to apply our acrylic. I use a three ball method. Sometimes I add a bit more beads depending on um, how I actually laid the acrylic onto the nail. So I start off by applying my first ball at the area where the natural nail meets the, the nail tip. So where you place your tip, you want to put the first bead there so that you can sort of create your apex from there so that you have that nice um, curve shape. Then the second bead, I go ahead and put it by my cuticle area, work the sides to keep my cuticle area clean, keep your, hand, your finger tilted down. And then the last bead goes to the edge of that tip. So it's your first bead at the area where the nail tip meets the natural nail. The second bead goes to your cuticle area. And then the last bead goes to the free edge of the nail tip. Where you're going to put it uh, at the bottom. I need to the nail is facing down. And then you'll just drag that product up to sort of blend in the acrylic with the rest of the product on the nail. What you do also want to keep in mind is to try and keep your brush as clean as possible. If you see that you do have a lot of um, acrylic powder building up in the strands of your brush, it is okay to put it in a bit of um, acetone just to loosen up that product, wipe it off clean. You can also uh, try to change your paper towel or whatever you use to wipe off your brush as frequently as possible just so that you can keep your brush clean because if you work with a brush that has product build up on it it's going to make it difficult for you to be able to pick up um, acrylic powder after you've dipped your brush into the the monomer
also if you realize that there are bits like little gaps on the the nail where you need to add more product feel free to add little beads of whatever color product you need to add just to fill up those gaps until you're fully satisfied that the nail looks the way you want it to look and then just a little bit on this uh, smiley design you want to put a bead place a bead of the base um, powder in this case i'm using cover pink you want to put a piece of the bead just a little below the area where the nail tip meets the natural nail and then sort of create a curve shape with by molding out that shape with your brush you want to make sure that this bead is not too wet so that you can actually mold out that design so that the bead is not too runny and you're struggling to get that curve shape and then i'm just going to add another bead at the cuticle area just to create a nice flush design you let it dry um, in the meantime, you can go start filing some other nails just up until you're satisfied that it is properly dried out. And then once it's dry, you're going to want to file out that edge of that um, C curve so that by the time you add the other color powder over it at the top towards the free edge, that curve shape is straight so that it doesn't look crooked. At this part where you're adding the, in this case it's the yellow powder, you want it to sort of go over the base powder that you applied first. Um, and then afterwards you'll do a lot of filing down. If you're going to use a, net, a hand file, you're going to do a lot of filing. The e-file does make this step a whole lot simpler when I'm filing down the bulk of that product when I can finally see the beautiful curve shape coming out. And what I'm doing now, just to protect the beautiful color, the beautiful pigmentation of this colored powder that you're choosing to use, I just add a coat of clear powder over that so that all that roughness of the filing will be on the clear powder and nothing happens that, so that I have no scratch marks or anything on that uh, beautiful yellow color.
So at this point, I'm just adding more of the yellow color towards the edge of that nail because I realized that the shape was not what I wanted it to be. So I just went ahead and added a bit more, let it dry and then come back and file it down again. Now we're just going to shape out the, the, other, the rest of the nails. You want to give attention to the sides of it and then also over the top of the nail just to perfect the shape up until you're fully satisfied with how it looks. Then what I'm doing now is just going over the nail again with the e-file. This is just for my satisfaction that the shape is as smooth and the, 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 the nail itself is as smooth and as perfect as I possibly can get it to be. As you can see, I went over the nails with the hand file again. This is just to make sure that I'm fully satisfied with how the nail looks. You can do something two, three, four, five, seventy, eight times as well if you're not satisfied up until it looks how you want it to look. And then I did apply top coat over the nails off camera. My camera went off and some cuticle oil and this right here mm -hmm. is what the product, the outcome looks oh, like. God. Thank you so much for joining me. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. Yeah. Mwah.